Thanks to everyone who tuned into my last video. I've turned off the autofocus this time, so hopefully that sound is gonna be fixed. Um, so today I've got like a behind the scenes with some tips about how to shoot in bad weather. As a photographer that shoots in natural light, I know that dealing with weather is something that you always have to adapt to. Yesterday I was lucky enough to have Oliver Allen with me, who I'll just link in the description below. And he filmed some behind the scenes stuff, so I'm gonna put that into this video today and show you how we dealt with the bad weather yesterday. The first shoot you're gonna see is with Ninja T, and if you've been following me for a while then you've probably already got to know his face and his name. Um, but again, I'll link him in the description. And the same goes for the second model, Chrissy Ford, who I've shot with before, so yeah, you'll be able to find all their, their links, their socials down in the description below. Honestly, I've watched this footage back and it doesn't even look like it's raining, but it was, it was raining. Make sure you watch the video throughout because I'm gonna throw the tips in between the footage, so yeah, you're gonna have to watch three to get all the tips. I'm here today with uh, Ninja T. If you followed me for a while, you've probably seen him on my Instagram already. And um, I'll drop all his socials in the description. And we've also got, do you want to flip the camera and show your face? <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. also got Oliver like filming some BTS and yeah, he's gonna be cheating as well in a bit. It's, the weather's a bit not what we expected today. So we're gonna be shooting in the rain. It's, it's really windy as well, which isn't ideal, but we'll just make it work. Something that's really important when you're shooting in bad weather, although it might not be essential, is trying to match your location to the weather because there's so many elements that make up a photo and the atmosphere within the photo. If you get one wrong, it kind of throws off the vibe a little bit. And of course there's a place for that, especially if you're trying to create some juxtaposing content. And again, you can always edit it so that the light looks warmer to match your location. But for ease, really, I think, try and always make sure that you're shooting in a location that makes sense. So as you can see from this set with Ninja, um, you've got like the dull, moody colours kind of match the fact that it's like, yeah, it's pouring, it's raining. And what's more, you've got these patches of like water on the ground, like they make sense because it's raining. You can tell from the picture, from the way he's dressed, from the, the lighting, that it's not a hot summer's day. point but protect your camera where you can honestly I've broken cameras before by getting them wet not from the rain but s still so like in down times um, when people are chatting and, or you're moving location and stuff put your camera in your bag wrap it up under your coat just make sure that it's not always exposed to the weather and of course you can get equipment that helps you deal with this like covers special bags um, weatherproof lenses, etc. But if you don't have that kind of equipment, just do your best to keep it undercover where you can. And also, as you can see from some of this footage here, we shot a lot undercover. <laughs> Uh, 
tip number three is be prepared to compromise. A lot of the time with the weather, it can throw your plans off. You might have an idea for a shoot that just doesn't work anymore, so you need to be prepared to change that up a bit. If a model doesn't want to sit on the wet ground, suggest another pose. Everything, you can still portray an idea as long as you've, you're willing to compromise and adjust things slightly. I think that actually a massive benefit of shooting in bad weather is you have neutral light. As a natural light photographer, I cannot stand shooting in harsh lighting, unless it's for effect, um, when you get like shadows on faces and stuff like that. But as a rule, I'm not a fan of that direct sunlight and I don't know many other photographers that are. The neutral light means that the shadows in the face are gonna be a lot easier to deal with in post-production. That being said, bad weather can also mean a lack of light and not just neutral light. So you have to be prepared to utilize your surroundings and make sure you can get enough light into the image to make it clear, make it crisp. A um, great way to do that is by using reflectors. You can get a reflector like this one um, for quite cheap, um, like 10 quid maybe on Amazon. I'll link, I'll link some below that you can use. And what it does is it uses the natural light. So as you can see, like that's reflecting, making the light a lot brighter on my face. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all a reflector does. It literally reflects light. But um, if you don't want to splash out, spend any money, then you can use natural reflectors and you can use DIY reflectors. So just like a white bit of paper, a white wall will also reflect the light. Um, or you can use um, natural items, objects, that places it within your location. And that's what we did a, a lot yesterday. So we shot a lot by the water um, because the, the light reflected off of the water. Um, my last tip is, depending on what you're trying to achieve, experiment with shutter speed. Shutter speed can be used, obviously if you've watched my last video you probably have an understanding of this, um, but Shutter speed can be used to capture motion. This can make a lot of interesting effects with the rain, especially if you want to capture the droplets or you want to capture like it lashing down. Um, I don't have any examples within this shoot to show you, but I will put in a little thing here um, to show you how I've used that on a previous shoot. If you have any questions or further tips on shooting with the rain, then leave them in the comments below. I'm also interested in what you might want to see from future videos. Do you want more Q&As? Do you want more behind the scenes? Let me know. Remember to hit subscribe to keep up to date with more content that's coming soon. And you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and I'll leave all my socials down in the description below.